What's up everybody? Jim Lee here from Climate Viewer with a quick update on the Louisiana sinkhole. Uh, the Bayou Corn sinkhole, I have been working on it all night long, way too long. Get your details on, it's up live on uh, Climate Viewer. Not going to spend too much time on this. Um, most people already know the story. If you don't, come over here. I have researched the wells involved. Come up with some interesting stuff that most people may not have seen. Let me check this out. Here you go. Um, this is the Sonris Interactive Maps. And what it does is allows you to come over here and actually highlight these uh, different uh, wells and see who they belong to, like Oxygasmore. Well, um, then you can click Document Access, which will bring you over to all of the relevant information on each well. I have loaded all of that information into these as you can see here you click details It'll kick you over and tell you all about it this took forever i don't even want to talk about it anymore okay so look at the well detail there assumption parish sinkhole data this is the size of the salt dome if you click the little rings it'll tell you Tell you how wide they are. It's a thousand, two thousand feet down, three thousand feet down, four thousand, and so on. That's how big it is, guys. And then uh, these are the locations where the bubbles were seen. Right here. And here is the sinkhole. Some of these will click you over to Wikimapia. And then if you check that off, finally I have an overlay section. Now these took me a little while to make. Don't click them all on at once. You might blow your computer up. Sinkhole photo. So we can kind of see. I understand this is appears to be on a hill, so it's still a little distorted, but that's approximately what it should look like. And... The 1985 map, I pulled this out of a PDF and overlaid it right on top of it. As you can see, it used to be known as Hooker Occidental Chemical Well Number 8, Brian Well Number 8. Of course, all that's been changed. Um, very quick on the research side, other things I noticed. Texas Brine Corporation has had a problem with, of well plugging by anorite sand during the development of its brine production wells. This occurs in salt domes of Louisiana and Texas with such frequency that the company has acquired equipment and established routine procedures for unplugging the affected wells. So apparently they have problems with these. Here's what the well cavern looks like. Uh, basically the bore structure that's also overlaid right on the map. Here's the original map and I basically cut that out made a PDA or a JPEG out of it and more details. Tons of stuff over here on this website guys. It's just absolutely amazing how much stuff you can find on here. Um, but all the relative in information is in the map. I'm absolutely exhausted. been doing this all night long way past my bedtime. Enjoy, guys. Uh, real quickly, before I cut it off, uh, appears the LiDAR link is not working. This came from ArcGIS. I'll have to fix that later. Salt Dune map. This is another map. It's an overlay that um, was put out by the government. It's got a lot of interesting details on it. And then finally what the dirt's made out of around it and I happen to find this turns out Occidental Chemical is right up here two of their plants if you click on this I found a ISO 9000 certificate showing that they manufacture and 
distribute methyl chloride, methylene chloride, chloroform, ethylene dichloride, perchloroethylene, diaphragm, and low caustic, low salt caustic chlorine, and pentachloropropane. That file has been removed from the internet. It was here. It is no longer. Thank you, Wayback Machine. Here's their ISO certificate. I hope they aren't pumping that in the ground. I really hope they aren't. Somebody look into this. I'm off to bed. It's Jim Lee, Climate Viewer. Stay safe, guys.